Hello, magical butterflies. This is Extina from Butterfly Intuition Divine Guidance. Hope everyone is having a magical day, night, or afternoon. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today, I will be bringing you a reading for fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Sun, Moon, Rising, in love. Please check your birth chart to find out what your sun, moon, and rising signs are. If you're not familiar with how to get your birth chart, you can go to www.cafeastrology.com to get your free birth chart. Cafe Astrology is my go-to site, but if anyone knows of any other sites to get a free birth chart, please list in the comment section below. In this general collective reading, I will be tapping into the energy of fire signs Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. My intention for this general collective reading is to bring forth the messages, advice, guidance from spirit that come through to help bring you clarity and guidance. All of my readings are intended to be timeless, so the messages in this reading can apply in any given time or space to anyone who is guided to my channel. I intend for this general collective reading to resonate with as many people as possible but it will not resonate with everyone. Please use discernment while listening and watching this video, taking only the message or messages that resonate with you and leaving the rest behind. If you would like to book your own personal reading with me, you can book one in my Etsy shop. The link to my shop is below. I offer several different kinds of readings for guidance. All of the information is listed in my item details. Learn more about this item on each listing. The information includes what each reading entails, what information I will need from you, turnaround time, the type of format the reading is sent, and my disclaimer. If you have any questions or need clarification on anything, please feel free to email me. I'm happy to help you in any way that I can. My email address and my social media links and my website are in the description box below. So let's get into this reading. So this reading is going to be for fire signs, Aries, Leo, oh, sorry, Leo, and Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. In this reading, I will go over the theme for the month, the overall energy, the head and heart space of the person you're thinking about any blocks or obstacles that are in your love that are in the way in your love connection, guidance, advice, what you need to know, and any action that you might be guided to take in your connection. Possible future energy on what you can expect to happen in this connection, as well as what may happen. And then I will pull a bonus card at the end of the reading for guidance for Aries, for Leo, and for Sagittarius. Calling in Archangel Michael, my angels, my spirit guides, the angels and spirit guides for the collective. Earth, air, fire, water, our ancestors, wayshores, and guides, spirit, the divine, to help me do this fire signs in love collective reading for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. What is the theme for the month of March? 2020 for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So the theme for this month is She Feels, She Knows. This is the number 22 card, and 22 equals a 4. So what I'm getting right away is that your intuition is on point. What you're feeling, what you're knowing inside intuitively about your love connection is correct. It is on point. Your intuition will always tell you the truth. You have to trust that. You're getting signs, synchronicities, songs are speaking to you. Your dreams are very vivid at this time. So trust what you're feeling and trust what you know. No matter what you see in the physical world, trust what you feel and trust what you know. And let's get the overall energy of your love connection. What is the overall energy 
for the love connection, please. Oh, the overall energy is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. This is the number 40 card. We have another four. So fours might be significant. Maybe they're the numbers that you're seeing. The overall energy for this month is to make sure your third eye chakra is balanced. Make sure your third eye chakra is balanced because that is how your intuition is enhanced. That is how your intuition is, is just dialed in to what's going on. So you feel, you know, your intuition is on point. And then let's get into the person you're thinking about. What is the current head and heart space of the person, fire sign, sun, moon, rising, are thinking about at this time? What is the current head and heart space? We have recognition. And the deck that I'm using for this is Mystic Moon Oracles. Energy was the energy oracle, and the theme is Sacred Rebels Oracle. So recognition. Now this card also came out for Earth Signs for Headspace. So that is um, that th that reading could have special messages for you also. So your person's headspace is that they recognize who you are. So your intuition is telling you that this person knows that you're the one for them. You know they're the one for you. So trust that. And their heart space is regret. So what I'm getting very strongly is that this person may regret things that they have done, things that they have said, the way things abruptly ended between the two of you. They didn't see who you were then, but they see who you are now. So they're just trying to balance out the regret, the guilt, the shame that they feel in their heart. They long to come towards you with an apology, to tell you that they're sorry, to ask you for forgiveness, to ask you for a second chance. So this person is just working through their feelings and understanding that they hurt you and trying to figure out the best course of action to come towards you. And you might be feeling this at this time, so just trust what you're feeling. And if you are feeling your person's energy that strong, send them loving and healing vibes. They will feel it also, and it will help them move forward. So let's get some, some guidance on what the block and obstacle might be currently in your love connection. What is the block and obstacle in the love connection for fire signs? The deck I'm using for this is the True North Collective Tarot Project. So the block is the tower. Allow your life fall together. So you or your partner might be experiencing a tower moment right now, or you may have just gone through one with the new moon in Pisces that happened, a lot of people were very emotional and a lot of tower moments happened, especially with Mercury in retrograde right now as I record this. Um, a tower moment was divinely guided to get you out of the stuck energy you, in, you are in and to um, doubt your intuition. And then your person had a tower moment, which is why they're in the heart space of regret and why they now recognize you and your connection. And then I'm going to pull some guidance messages for you. I'm going to be using the Monology deck. Let's get some messages, guidance, advice, what you need to know, and any action you might be guided to take this month when it comes to your connection. All right. The first message we have is have faith in your dreams. So trust that what you want can come true. Trust that what you desire desires you. Have faith. Don't lose hope. Then we have show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. Now this could be a special message if your person is an Aquarius or an air sign, but they don't have to be with this being general. Show the world the real you tells me to speak your truth 
to be your most authentic self, live your life, um, be, be who you want to be. Don't be afraid to show everyone who you are. Live your life to please yourself. Don't live your life to please others. And then final guidance messages is luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius could be a special message for Sagittarius or or like just or if your person's a Sag, you're a Sag or if you just or it's just resonating with both fire signs. But luck is on your side. And then the card right after that is believe in the impossible. So luck is on your side. Your dreams can manifest. You just have to have faith and trust that all is coming together in divine timing. And let's get some possible future energy on what may happen, what you can expect for the month of March in your love connection. The deck I'm going to be using right now is the Twin Flame Journey Tarot by Mystic Moon. All right, the first card that I have is Eight of Pentacles, a work in progress. So what I'm getting very strongly is that you are rewriting your story. We all are the author of our story. We can change our lives and rewrite a page, a chapter, a book, a script of our life anytime that we choose. So we, you will be working on yourself. You will be committed to working on your life purpose, your career, your mission work, allowing the universe to bring your connection together. That's another message I'm getting with this work in progress card. Your connection is coming together. And then the next message we have is restoration, the temperance card. So temperance is showing me that there's a, a restoration. Faith is being restored. Love is being restored. Trust is being restored. Balance is being restored. Your person is going to find the strength to come to you and apologize and offer you a new beginning and ask you for forgiveness. Right now, they're just planning and deciding on how they can do it. So just trust that this connection is going to come together. Your person just needs to work out a few things and get out of their head. Um, well, get more, get out of their heart space of regret and get into their head of recognizing you and actually taking action towards you. And then I'm going to pull a couple more possible future energy messages. I'm going to be using the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle by Aqua Moonlight. To just see what else can happen, what may happen, what we can expect for this month. All right, the first card that just flew out is fantasy, dreams, fairy tale, imagination. So this is spirit's way of telling you that whatever you're dreaming about in your head about or fantasizing about that you would like to do or say with your partner, you if you can imagine it and you can dream it, it can come true. I'm hearing uh, that Disney song, fairy tales can come true. It could happen to you. That message might be significant for someone. Um, so just, just trust that it's all going to balance out and come together. And then a final message. We have established family, triumph, security. So what I'm getting from this card is that your person sees you as home. Your person sees you as someone they want to build a family with. You see them as security and your connection is going to triumph. And then I'm going to pull a bonus message for each sign to get um, additional guidance. So Spirit, can I have a bonus message? For Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, please. Thank you so much. All right. For Aries, we have cycles. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. So a cycle is ending and then a cycle is beginning. I'm drawn to the butterflies around this unicorn. This is showing me that transformation is occurring in your love connection. And then for Leo, we have dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. 
So dance, I'm hearing the song Let's Dance by Lady Gaga. So when you get stressed out, put on some music and dance. That's your guidance from spirit. And then for Sagittarius, we have courage. You are safe, fear is an illusion, set strong boundaries. So be, be strong, don't be afraid to set boundaries. If you need to set boundaries with people, and cut certain people out of your life or if you just have to cut people to a minimum maybe like cut back how available you are to people in your job or your family don't be afraid to do that fear is an illusion it's just it's it's more a thought that you can change so i hope that this reading brought you clarity and guidance regarding your situation if this reading resonated with you, please make sure to comment below, like and share if you feel guided. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel, turn the bell notification on so you can get notified when I post a new video. If you would like to gain clarity and guidance on your own personal situation, you can book a personal reading with me through my Etsy shop. Wishing you a beautiful and magical day, night or afternoon, wherever you may be. Sending you so much love. Until next time.